it's Terry Gaines. I'm going to give you some assembly tips on creating a fun card using the gorgeous Posy stamp set and the Stack Stone background stamp. I'm going to be stamping on Whisper White cardstock using the floral image from the stamp set and the ink pad color I'm going to use is Coastal Cabana. This stamp has so much detail you want to just tap 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 to get ink on just the surface of your stamp. Stamp down on your paper. I'm using Whisper White cardstock to get um, a good pressure and then you've got your image stamped. I'm going to stamp the inside portion of the flower, the little dots with smoky slate. And then I'm going to stamp some greenery and Granny Apple Green is the color for this card. So I'm going to stamp first with a bolder design. And then I'm going to stamp the detail part of the greenery in the very same color. Unfortunately, we don't have a punch or a die that will cut these out. So these do need to be cut out by hand. And we have a scissors in our catalog called the Paper Snips. It's got a small, sharp blade which is perfect for fussy cutting. If my images are large, I don't worry about breaking down the fibers of the cardstock. What I do is I just hold the, the paper snips in place and then move my cardstock. And then I can get a fairly good cut around the image. If I had a lot of detail in my cutting, I would break down those fibers. For example, a small flower that you're going around small petals, I would break down the fiber and what that will do for you is that will give you a thinner cardstock and also when you go and cut around those detailed parts of your image you don't have those loose fibers on your cardstock so to save some time i've already got those images cut out for us the next thing i need to do is stamp the sentiment and before I do that, I'm going to cut a piece of very, I'm sorry, Whisper White cardstock. This is two and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm going to use the stitched nested dies and cut this out. So I've already done that ahead of time. And I have this image. I'm going to use a sentiment that's in the stamp set. And I'm going to use Smoky Slate ink. So when I stamp my sentiment, or I'm sorry, place my sentiments on my clear block, you, um, sometimes my label is not as straight, and that's the case here. But either way, what I always do is I test this out. I will stamp on scrap paper with the bottom edge of my block on a line on my grid paper to see how well I've lined up my stamp. And even though it looks like it's not right on the front, it actually is not too bad for placement. So I'm just going to line the block to my die, the edge of my die, and stamp my sentiment. So I've got all the stamping done for this card. Now, oh, one exception, I forgot to do the background. The background stamp is the stack stone stamp background. It's available in wood or cling, so you would need a clear block. I like these in the wood, so I actually turn them upside down and keep the rubber side up. I'm going to use the Coastal Cabana ink, and I like to just tap, tap, tap the ink all the way around. The beauty of this upside down, you can see if you got good coverage, and you wanna go back in and blend any of those edges and ink it well. The cardstock is Whisper White. It is cut at four inches by four and a quarter, and I'm going to place it right on the stamp then I'm going to take a piece of typing paper or recycle paper and just apply some pressure here to get a good coverage. Then you can take this off and now you've got a nice coverage of the background. So now I have all the pieces stamped for this project. So now we will start the assembly. The card base is Coastal Cabana, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and I've already done that. And I'm going to adhere this right in the center of this card base. I'm going to actually flip it over. The reason I flip it over is I can tell that this piece is just a hair, hair longer. So I'm going to have that as the front. The adhesive I'm going to use is the new stamp and seal. It is a new adhesive in the catalog and I am still practicing with it. It needs a very light touch 
and an ever so lightly check mark for me. I've heard you don't need to do that, so you need to practice. I need just a really slight check mark. And now what I'm going to do is just apply this in the center, equal spacing on the top and bottom, and equal spacing on the sides, and apply that in the center. I also need to cut out another nested stitched or stitched nested die, and this is the next size larger, so I can layer the sentiment onto that. So I'm going to adhere these two together with the stamp and seal as well. And these are really versatile, great for all kinds of paper crafting projects. So I've got those, like so. Now I'm going to put this on my card with some dimensionals. Dimensionals are a great way to add dimension to your project. And I'm going to probably add six of these here, just because I wanna make sure that it stays raised. And then the beauty of the take your pick tool, when you purchase this, you get this piece on this end. This is an add-on for a brushed die. And the pointed end, I like just using that to get the backings off of my dimensionals. And I think I got that one already. So that works perfect. I'm going to center this um, this way on the card in just a little lower than centered going up like so. The next thing I'm going to do is adhere the greenery to the back of the flower. I'm going to just put a little bit of adhesive behind the flower and then just add that on like so. This is going to be placed in this vicinity of the card. And I just wanna make sure that I don't place it so far over, it doesn't fit in the envelope. So I'm just looking for what portion I'm not gonna put dimensionals on. So now I'm gonna turn it over and I like to be sure that I put a couple dimensionals that are adhering the leaf to the flower and put one over here and then I'll put one over here. Then I can put some adhesive right here. And the reason is, is this portion will adhere to this and the rest of this will adhere to the flat part of the card. So I want to be, be sure that this all fits in very well. And that's how that part is. Two things to embellish the card. There is some new beautiful ribbon in the catalog. It is Pool Party. 3 8 inch sheer ribbon. Pool Party is a light shade of Coastal Cabana. So this is beautiful for making bows. So I'm gonna make a bow. I like to keep my ribbon on the spool when I make bows. And I do have a video on how I make bows. So I'll reference that on my blog page and on comment section of this video in YouTube. So the next thing I like to do is, I'm going to do is apply my bow to my card with the mini glue dots. They are really strong little adhesive dots, will hold any of your embellishments. And the last thing I'm going to do is take some of the basic, basic rhinestones. We get several of the tiny ones, or the smallest ones. I'm gonna take the other end of the take your pick. It has some putty that dispenses in this side, which works perfect for grabbing some of the, um, whoops, I got a different angle here. Let's see, there we go. I'm gonna grab a few of these and just fill in here and there um, around the center of the flower. And we'll add five of those. And that's the embellishments of this card. If you found me via YouTube, you can look in the comment section of this blog, or the comment section for a direct link to my blog post where you'll find the supply list, measurements, and instructions for this project. There will be a PDF tutorial you can download. I would love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed creating this project with me. Stay safe and stay healthy.